Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Distance on the Coordinate Plane. Here we have a couple of points. Today we will learn how to find the distance between points like these, but first we need to identify if a line is horizontal or vertical. This line is an example of a horizontal line. Let's look at why. If we were to stack our two points on top of each other, and we look at the X coordinates and the Y coordinates, we notice something. Our Y coordinates are both four. So whenever we have the same Y coordinate, we know we're talking about a horizontal line. Let's look at a couple of other points. Here we have negative three, three, and negative three, negative four. This is an example of a vertical line because it is straight up and down. If we take a closer look at our ordered pairs, we notice something about our coordinates again. In this one, we can see our x coordinates are both negative three. So anytime that two ordered pairs have the same x coordinate, they make a vertical line. Now that we understand the difference between them, let's practice trying to find the distance between them. So here I have two points, one four and four four. I automatically know that they are horizontal because I see them graphed. But what about if I don't see them graphed? So because these ones are graphed, I do notice that it is going from left to right. And I also can see from my ordered pairs, if I didn't have a picture of it, I can see from my ordered pairs that the Y values, the Y coordinates are the same. This means horizontal. Now to find the distance in a picture, I can just count the distance between them. So this is three. So let's try another way to find the distance when I don't have the picture. So if I was to just have the ordered pairs. To find distance, we're going to look at the coordinates that are not shared, in this case the x coordinates. We will take the larger minus the smaller value. So here I have 4 is bigger than 1, so 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And I know that that answer is correct because I do have a graph picture and I counted, but also I know this is correct because it is a positive number and my distance must always be positive. So if you get to the end of your question and you see that you got a negative number for an answer, then you know that you must have done something wrong because distance must always be positive. Let's take a look at those points from earlier, negative three, three, and negative three, negative four. So here again, we can see that they have the same X coordinate. And when you have the same X coordinate, that is a vertical line. And I have my non shared values as my three and my negative four, because this is graphed. I'm going to go ahead and count the distance between these. So as I count, I notice that I get seven. And then I'm just going to go ahead and write out this problem the same way that I did the other one. Keep in mind that the higher up on the graph for a vertical line, the bigger the number. Also, this is a positive and this is a negative. So that's how I can tell three is bigger than four as well. So I'm going to say three minus negative four. And I just put parentheses around it to keep it, the problem a little bit more organized. And then remember when you're subtracting integers, you're actually adding the opposite. So we don't subtract integers. We just change it to add the opposite. So I'm going to keep the three the way it is change this to addition. So it's three plus the opposite of negative four is positive four. So it's actually three plus four. So my answer is seven. And I could confirm that from the picture of it being drawn and me counting um, those the distance of those units as well. So let's take a look at one last type of problem that you might see. And this is when you have cardinal directions. So let's say here we are at our point two one. And it tells us it wants us to move three miles. And we're assuming that each unit here is a mile. Um, it wants us to move three miles to the east, west, north, and south. So I'm going to have four different ordered pairs that represents each of those movements. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do, I went ahead and put together a little table that makes this really easy for me to know what I'm doing for each of the coordinates. And the second thing that I did is I just went ahead and wrote out my original point, two comma one, um, my original ordered pair, and I'm going to do my math down here. So if I go to the east, east is this direction. As I'm going this direction with my point, I notice that my numbers for my x value 
My x coordinate is getting bigger, but nothing is happening to the one. So to go east, I'm going to add that three and I'm gonna keep my y coordinate the same. So my new point, if I was moving from two, one to the east three miles would be five comma one. To move to the west, west goes this direction. So I can see I'm moving um, over here and I'm moving three. So I'm actually going to be subtracting, but I'm only moving on my x coordinate. So I'm going to subtract three from two and I'll keep my y coordinate the same because it didn't go up or down, it just went to the west. And two minus three is going to give me negative one, one. Next to go north, I'm going up. So I'm gonna go up three, so I'm adding, I'm making that two bigger. I'm sorry, I'm making the one bigger. In this case, I'm not gonna do anything to the two. So notice how it doesn't have a color. And the reason why is because um, my X is going to stay the same. I'm gonna stay on this line. I'm just gonna go up on that line. I'm gonna go up three. So it's my Y that I'm going to add to. So I end up with two comma four. And then finally, if I want to go south, I'm gonna be going down, but I'm still staying on the same X coordinate. So that stays the same and I will be subtracting the three. So I end up with two comma negative two. Let's recap. Points that share the same Y coordinate are horizontal and points that share the same X coordinate are vertical. Finally, we know to find the distance of points that are vertical or horizontal, we will do that by subtracting the larger value by the smaller value. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.